Tonight, with fresh outbreaks and new fears, some Chinese cities are locking down. A massive quarantine center was built in days. In Beijing, huge lines for mass testing and everywhere digital surveillance. I need to scan to prove to the driver that I'm healthy, and that information also goes for contact tracing. The worry, new COVID strains ahead of the Lunar New Year. The government now urging even paying people to not travel. It comes as the virus had largely faded, a year after the world's first lockdown in Wuhan. Back then, we scrambled to leave as the city fell silent. We've since returned to where life appears normal with morning swims and packed nightclubs. The virus relegated to China's version of history in a huge museum paying tribute to health workers and the country's leader, Xi Jinping. Yet in the shadows, there's also grief. Zhang Hai's father died of COVID before it had a name. He's trying to sue local officials. If I don't speak out, nothing will change, he says. A World Health Organization team is in Wuhan to explore the origin of the virus. There's been a lot of blame being put around uh, about this um, pandemic. Um, it originated somewhere. The first cluster of cases traced to a market. It still isn't clear whether the Huanan market was the source of the virus, though outside experts believe it was a starting point for the outbreak. Where Chinese officials took samples over a year ago. And why has the data not been shared? No, they didn't isolate the virus. That's the issue. So what about live animal samples? It doesn't tell you anything. I do not suspect it's coming from uh, what we originally thought. China's government is crafting its own narrative, a patriotic film premiering today that presents the city where the virus first emerged as the one that survived to defeat it. Janice Mackey Frayer, NBC News, Wuhan. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.